Good morning, it's Vlogmas day one. It feels so good to say that. So let's get stuck in. It's actually very early. So this is very early to be having chocolate. We have a little snowman holding a broom. This year I have a few more advent calendars. So I have this one from a local independent store called Lisa Angel. That's from Norwich, I'll open this one next. I have Kiehl's So Unique and Body Shop. The Lisa Angel one and the Feel Unique one are both 12 days of Christmas, so you won't be bombarded with lots every day for the whole month. Let's get in this one. This is a Create Your Own Charm necklace and bracelet. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, love Lisa Angel. In the first door, there's this little pouch with this chain. Let's check if this is the necklace or the bracelet. I'm gonna say necklace. It is a necklace. And as I'm looking at this, I forgot to open this. It says here, open me first. So let's open it second. Baby just walked in and he made me pancakes. Thank you. It's Vlogmas day one. Happy Vlogmas day one. We look very tired because we didn't get a lot of sleep. No, no. I'm still on Thailand time. I'm still on Thailand time. Thank you very much. No problem. In here we have little pliers and uh oh what's this? Oh so these are little ringlets. I think there'll be charms and stuff that we'll get to attach and also this is actually good to keep everything all together in this section. Nice and tidy. The season to shine with Phil Unique. I love a ribbon. How fancy. Inside we go. Inside we have, don't think I've heard of this brand before, but this is a light reflect cream. So for the high points of your face, I quickly read on the side here. Heels next. I gave one of these away on my Instagram actually. This one is really big. Okay, I haven't actually looked before. Where is one? Okay, I see. This one compared to, especially the Feel Unique one, feels really thick and robust. Like this is really thick card. The Kiehl's Body Fuel All-in-One Energizing Wash. I might use this today because I'm really tired. The original plan here was to actually do a fry up, <gasps> but we had one egg. Oh yeah, because we had Dippy Egg the other day, didn't we? Yeah. Thank you, didn't expect to have breakfast. That was very kind of you. Well, I was going to do it and then I thought, oh, I'll do a little pancake mix. Yay. Five spoonfuls of flour, tablespoonfuls, fills, fills, <laughs> uh, one egg, and milk until you get it nice and creamy. And you can add two eggs if you like, If you, the more you want to make. Thank you, fiance. Thank you, fiance. <laughs> fiance. Last but not least is the body shop. I have already opened it. Ooh, I like that it's compartments so they aren't doors that you break open they are God, imagine putting that together and making that all fit they're all little separate boxes there are questions and then answers and then little things like smile at the first person you see today i'm smiling at you i can see that <laughs> if they come this is the Body Shop British Rose Shower Gel. I love lots of little travel shower gels. They're perfect for all my travels away. So I'm gonna add this to my suitcase, take this to India with me. I just pointed the camera at Paul and he was just like, nope, I look like crap. Although he did not say crap. And I was like, oh, look at me, I've not brushed my hair. But um, if you haven't seen already <laughs> on my main channel or on our social media, and if you haven't, how did you miss that? But we are engaged, Paul proposed to me in Thailand. I'll link down to our engagement video so you can find out more about that. But since we've come back from Thailand, we've been waking up around like five, six mm. every morning. I'm off to London today. I had to get up at seven. I obviously got up earlier, so I got to open my advent calendars. I wasn't gonna open those till I came back, but I had spare time, so I thought, why not? Do need to eat this and get ready though. But I'm off into London doing something top secret and I can't show you yet, but I can show you it soon. But I'm able to film when I'm there, you just don't know what it's for. Sounds bloody exciting. I think it's, it's gonna be- I think the not knowing is a good thing. <laughs> See, for me- We know. I'm, I'm up and I know what I'm doing. I'm going to work, nine to five, boring. What I'm doing today is gonna be quite hard um, and emotional for me. So prepare for tears. I'm meeting my management when I get into London. She's gonna bring me coffee. She's gonna bring tissues because I think we'll both 
be crying and bless her she was like i'm gonna take you for the lunch afterwards and we're gonna celebrate your engagement which i thought was very lovely of her mm. come back have you shown them the flowers you got the oh card? no haven't done that yet i've literally just been in here i'll do that when i go into the kitchen i need to probably do some work on the train so i've edited my side of the engagement video but i won't have time to do his so i need to edit his as well so they go off she's the same. gonna help me yeah, so they go up at the same time and then when he's back from work, planning to put the tree up. So last year I put the tree up on the 25th of November, but this time I thought, 1st of December, perfect way to start it, put the tree up, we can do it together, we'll do it together for a bit because last year he just fell asleep. So we'll do it together for a bit, then I'll take over because I think you'll find it boring. <laughs> can we put lights on Tim again? Tim's dying, so um, Tim will have to be moved because the tree goes there. I know, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a reshuffle. Oh, Tim! But yeah, I need to get some pesticide. Tim has a bug infestation and he's looking very sad. So, yeah, busy day. I have something delivered to my parents. So, after, or well, I guess before we use the tree, quickly pop to my parents, pick up that because we're shooting that tomorrow. It's all, it's all go, it's all very busy straight away. So yeah, Saturday we're gonna be shooting this stuff. Then Sunday evening I go to India. So I need to kind of work out how I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas. I usually film, edit, upload every day. It may be a little bit harder when I'm in India. White chocolate. So I'm gonna open it. Share. Yeah. I don't wanna point down because you're in your pants. <laughs> yeah, it's early. Yeah, but I don't wanna show everyone in your pants. It's, yeah, it's the same as my one, was it? Snowman? Yeah. He, yeah, that's not gonna... Yeah. yeah. No, I won't focus. <laughs> busy, busy start to Vlogmas. I basically just told you what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of days. And um, yeah, I should eat my now cold pancakes and get ready. For work. I gotta go. These are the flowers Paul mentioned. So Deb from Hairsmiths. She is lovely. She does my hair. So every week I go in, she washes and blow dries my hair and she got us these beautiful flowers. The lilies are going to be opening soon. And also a card. This is the sweetest thing. I didn't expect it at all. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. That was so kind of her. She wrote a lovely little note inside. Beautiful flowers. Okay, found a downside to an advent calendar being full of boxes and not tying it up. Is that when you pick it up? they all fall out but um, I'm going to have to watch the clip back and see where everything goes so I can put it back in. It's like a puzzle. There we go. Boy am I glad I filmed this. Imagine if I just picked it up, dropped it. I would not know how to put it all back together. I added the one box in just to keep it all just easier together otherwise they're going to be going all over the place. Um, but yeah, I need to tie this up to avoid that again. I wrapped up super warm in my faux fur top shop coat. I've had this for years now. Such a good investment at the time, really expensive. It's like 80 pounds even back then. I've worn it so much every year. And I have my cheap little gloves on. These are literally like 50 fever on the market. Paul's given me a lift to the station, which is much appreciated. I didn't want to get caught in the rain or anything, but the weather actually looks okay today. Yesterday there was so much snow and it was only two degrees. Today I think it's more around six, so I think it's too warm. I think in London there's a little bit of rain that I've got to prepare for, so I have my umbrella ready, I've got my laptop, I've got snacks already, so I can get straight onto the train and start editing Paul's version of the engagement video that we can both go up today. I'm excited. My video is just a bit more of like a brief talk through of what happened and of course there's a lot more in depth, more about the day and how he was thinking things and how it all came together. This is really nice to have. It's a difference, like my one I'm mostly talking and of course he's mostly talking. That's quick, we're at the station already. I love you. I love you for your time. time. <laughs> I'll see you later. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Do all the work, do all the things, and put you in the eye. Make money for the children. Make money for the children. He's put a ring on it and I'll listen to him. <laughs> I've arrived in London and I can't tell you what I'm doing but I can give you a little sneak peek of this is the setup for today. So I'm going to be doing some recording for a few hours and you'll be hearing about what this is soon. I am having celebratory I'm engaged lunch with Elle. Where are we? Because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> What's this we're eating? This is frijoles. So it's like beans. 
spicy. Nothing spicy because you can't have spicy. I know, I'm a bad Asian, I can't have spicy. And we have our hibiscus drinks. What is it, hibiscus? That is correct, flour. Finished lunch, now it's going to be getting on a very busy train back home. Paul picked me up from the station and... Hey, picked up my fiance ah! from the train station. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get run over. Oh, oh, that's all go. Ah! <laughs> that's okay. Good news, we did not get run over. No, we survived. So we were too lazy to go to Morrison's and buy food. I didn't want to get delivery because it's expensive. So then we were like, we could do Nando's because it's not too expensive. So off to Nando's. On the train, I was editing our video. So I just did a little re edit of my version, edited Paul's. So that's all ready. So I'm just exporting that and yeah, go for food. Then I need to go to my parents to pick up the stuff that we're shooting tomorrow. So that's good. Yep. And then upload the videos, get them all ready. Gonna do the Christmas tree. It's actually quite a busy evening. I'm so tired. Jet lag. What's all that shouting behind us? Because of my food earlier, I don't really need a lot. So I just went for a wrap. I've shared some of Paul's fries, I've nicked some of the salumi and his salad. What have you gone for? I went for the half chicken and chips and halloumi cheese, but because you're my fiance, I halved my halloumi cheese and gave you a slice. Back from my parents, we ended up staying at my parents for much longer than I expected. Literally the plan was to go in and collect the parcel and leave, but then I obviously got so excited seeing my parents. I haven't seen them since obviously before the trip and ended up sitting down, mum made us tea and I just told them the whole proposal story and hours flew by and we got so, so tired. So we're now back home, I'm exporting, uploading our engagement videos up a little bit later than I'd hoped. Far too tired now to put up the Christmas tree. So I'll have to do that tomorrow. I think I put way too much in the day and actually I couldn't quite do everything we wanted to do. I think our jet lag is just really hitting us. I was just so, so exhausted and I have had a very tiring day. Like going to London, I always find quite draining with the travel and being in London. And then the stuff that I spoke about and what I was doing, which I can't tell you about, that annoying YouTube thing. But very emotionally draining. Good day, busy day, productive day. But yeah, no Christmas tree, we'll do that. If all goes to plan, I feel like tomorrow's gonna be another busy one. If all goes to plan, do the Christmas tree tomorrow. I think that'll look nice as part of the stuff that Paul and I are shooting tomorrow. Then we're going to my parents for food and then Paul's off to London to do some work. I'm looking forward to Sunday as I get a little bit of rest. I do need to pack and then I go off to India. Paul, do you want to get involved and say bye? Do you want to come, come up here? Goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm.